What's going on? You locked in with the Innovators YouTube. You already know I got the best interviews right here, man. I got my guy, Book Pesos, in the studio. What's popping? How you doing? Hey, look, what's going on, man? We here, man. I've been watching you for a minute, so I'm like, man, I got to give me one. I appreciate you pulling up. First, I want to say it's a pleasure and a blessing. Just to start off, let the people know where you're from and where they can find you on social media. Uh, yeah, I'm from the uh, Bay Area, San Francisco, to be exact. Uh, social media, at Book Peso. Uh, or at Bullet Peso events on all platforms. What was it like growing up for you in San Francisco? Uh, to me, it was good. Like it was a regular childhood for me. You know, uh, single parent home, regular hood, uh, doing bad, hanging out with the homies and all that. So it was, it was, it was just regular hood for me. But that that that's my regular. Did you, is, is like growing up in a single parent home ever something you thought about growing up? Um, it, it really it, it really didn't bother me because feel me I know I wasn't the only one. So feel me like I say I I'm, I'm from the uh I'm from the towers feel me Geneva Towers and we got big homies and shit, so it was like yeah that's our father figures outside you feel me they take care of us they make sure we straight so it was cool. Nah, I, I got you on that for sure. Um. They, they actually tore the towers down, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How yeah, you yeah. feel about that? Um, when it happened, I was I was a little fucked up, but for me, it, everything worked out for itself. You know, we got new houses and all that. So yeah, that's like a notorious project out in Frisco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it had yeah, I grew tough. up in the in the towers, like the real towers. For me, I'm, I'm oh. thirty four, so for me, I'm 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 damn near my young nigga big on me. For me, so yeah. I really grew up in them buildings. You feel me? So, yeah. How was that? Uh, it was cool. Like I said, it was regular. Shit. Now, when I stayed in the building, I stayed with my auntie and them. So it was like twelve of us in in, in a three bedroom. You feel me? So, yeah. It was cool. You feel me? Just to be around family. I didn't see nothing wrong with it. So. Yeah. But now, if you ask me if we had to do that again, now hell no. Nah, we we'll do it. That. Yeah, I feel. Yeah. Can you say like, if you want, what's one of the craziest things you see growing up there? Getting thrown off the uh, off the top. Whoa! Yeah. He owed somebody some money or something. It was something like that. Had <laughs> yeah. to. Or they did something out of pocket. Yeah. And see that get tossed over. That's that's honestly crazy. Yeah, I was I was, <laughs> I was there and like what like six seven. I seen it get tossed over. That's that's the craziest thing I seen growing up in the towers. But yeah, everything that, else that, was like yeah. regular. Yeah. Knocks in the elevator. Getting stumped out in the in the hallways and yeah. all type of like that. Yeah. Um so now like you 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 do like a variety of different things. Like you yeah. you you're a promoter, you got yeah. the after hours, you throw your own events, you also DJ. Absolutely. What, what, are there other things that you do as well? You manage any artists? Like what else you I, do? I, I thought about managing artists, but that's not I, that's not really what my forte. Like I I tried before and it it was cool but I left it alone. Like, ain't no money in that. For yeah. Me. For me, it ain't yeah. no money in that. But I can help an artist, but I'm cool off managing. But, um, yeah, I manage some strippers, though. Oh, for real? Yeah, I got, I got the team. I got, a, like, a group of young ladies that, that I help uh, help manage and get them bookings and shit. And how was that for you? It used, you um, that sounds like a very fruitful situation. I mean, I mean it, it it's it's cool. It's nice. It's it's cool. Uh, for me, it pays. Um, I just get them bookings. Uh, send them send them out to you, like for me. Not on no like not like <laughs> you know. It, 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 it sounds like that, but it, it sounds like it's, that, but, but it's, it's not. But it's, it's not. not, it's, not, 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 it's, not it's, right. it's really management. Like yeah. it's real management. <laughs> And everybody be like, bro, you pimping. Nah. <laughs> like, nah, I'm nah. like, it sounds like that, but I, I ain't gonna say it. Yeah, I'm, not, gonna say I'm it. not too far involved in that and in, in, in their lives like yeah. that. You feel me? I'm just I'm just here to bust some plays with them. That's yeah. it. Yeah. But yeah, I get them booking uh send them OT when there's big events coming up, you know. Like got, Super Bowl or something. Yeah, like I got a network of promoters that I deal with. Yeah. You feel me? So when they be tapping in, like, oh, Boog, we got something going on in Arizona. We got something going on in Miami. Like, feel me? If you got some grill, send them. It's that type of shit. So, yeah. feel me? It, it all work out for everybody. No, that that's that seemed like, uh, uh, that that seemed dope for sure. And I, I, I mean, I feel like some of them probably need that type of management, though. I ain't gonna for lie. Sure. I mean, all of them do. They don't do nothing for them. So, it's like, feel me? Who gonna? Yeah. Me? 
that's what I'm here for. Like, you feel me? If you're worth it, I'm going to look out for you. Just make sure you look out for me. How did you, like, get into that per se? Because, I, I mean, I know you, you know you do the after hours, so you kind of already was kind of working with the strippers already, but, like, yeah, in the uh, point of managing them. Just just, just seeing how, how, how things run, and just being around, uh, <laughs> just seeing how things run and just being around certain individuals and how they, how they, uh, how they present themselves and take care of business. So I'm like, baby, if y'all can move like that, let me, let me, let me, let me wiggle my way in some way. And then I started off with like two girls and then, feel me, added up to like five. Then it's like, hey, I got eight girls that I deal with now. And it's like, cool. Everything's smooth. How did you get into like the whole after hour scene? Cause you know, oh, uh, all right, so I got into the after hour scene uh, with my boy David B. If me, uh, from Vallejo, uh, cool, cool stand up dude. He uh, he just brought it to my attention because they had a, a, a strip club in, in SAC called Fantasies, and he was like, "Boo, we need to bring this shit out to the Bay." I'm like, "The Bay ain't really got no no black strip clubs, and like the strip clubs don't f with black people." So he was like, "Let's do some after hours." I'm like, you sure? Like, you want to do it? He's like, yeah. I'm like, we work. What spot we gonna get? So, we just start trapping out. A, uh, we just start finding buildings, finding venues. Like, maybe not even clubs, just a open space type, uh, a warehouse, uh, a old restaurant. Like, anywhere we can find that can put that with us, we just rocked out. And I put me when we went from the worst to the best. You know what I mean? But we we thug it out on some real trap house. No, nine eight, uh, six six, uh, Richmond, Vallejo. Like we was in the boom. We was really in the in in the boonies. Like nigga, in in the some. And like, I want to get into that more, but I I do want to go back to what you said about how um, the strip clubs wasn't really rocking with the black people out here. Oh, they still don't, man. In the Bay Area, the the strip club scene is non-existent to blacks. It, they don't uh, the strip club scene like the clubs itself the real clubs they don't they don't want us in that they they because they're afraid of us like causing a problem or like what what you think it is I I would say they're afraid of us causing a problem but it's they they they, they try to stray away from the hip hop scene itself yeah they they feel as if the hip hop brings a certain type of crowd yeah which not a Eight times out of ten to do, but nowadays everybody just go to have fun and feel me be seen. And there ain't nobody really on no 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 other. Shit. Yeah. Everybody got a phone in their hand, so do something that's gonna be all on camera, like stupid. Yeah. But um, so yeah, the strip club scenes out here, they they don't they don't fuck with black people. I try, I believe me, I try every strip club. But all these strip clubs I really know about out here in like the Bay it would probably be the city. They don't. Fuck with all right, all right, I can see yeah. that for sure. Yeah, you see that it, out here. I, I would say yeah. And then I'm just, I'm just just keeping on in the Bay Area. In the Bay Area and San, just San Francisco itself, they look for a certain a certain type of girl. So if you a thick girl, they ain't fucking with you because they don't really fuck with thick girls. If you got tattoos or piercings, your ass is out. They don't they don't want nothing but plain James. Yeah. You feel me? And that's just that just they forte. You feel me? Every the uh strip clubs ain't for everybody. You feel me? And I understand that. Being me being in this game this long and working with a network of promoters, they be telling me like, bro, it's a certain type of individual that we everybody want. But you can't get mad just because they don't want that at their club. That's just what they cater to. Yeah. The type of crowd they cater to. Yeah. And I'd be like, okay, I can respect that now. Yeah. Like before, when I first started, I had a I had a, a, a vendetta against all strip clubs in the Bay Area. Like, since y'all don't want to fuck with us, I'm going to fuck with us. I'm going to show y'all how to really get this shit popping. And that, that's what kicked it off. That's what gave me my, gave me my, my, my flame. Yeah, you know? yeah. No, of course. Um, are there any strip clubs, like... Outside of the city, like I'm probably in San Ho. It's some strip clubs in San Jose, but they the same way. For real, but Oakland don't got no strip clubs right None now. Not at all. 
But they used to back in the day, cause I, I it, right? No, not even back in the day. No, Oakland never had strip clubs. Never back? Had, Oakland never had strip clubs. They only had after hours. Wow, why, why you think that is? They don't allow it in the city, or in Oakland, in the in the county of Alameda, they consider they consider a a male bidding fitting off a female financially as a form of pimping. So if you're a male and you trying to run a strip club, they they can like for me the way you go about it, they consider it pimping. Wow. Me, I don't run a strip club. I do strip I do pop ups. Ain't no clubs in Oakland. And I don't benefit from them paying me. They pay me before they even dance, before they even come in, at, for to use my platform. So, everybody is a self-employed entity, and you you pay me to use my platform. That's it. So whatever you make, whatever you do, that you keep That's all, all that. That's all you. That ain't gotcha. got nothing to do with me. So you're not paying me after from you. Dancing, you not be like, oh, here go. you want a percentage. I don't do percentage. I don't do splits. I don't do none of that shit. You pay me out the dough. You come to dance. You all, whatever you do is you. That's I got you. I ain't got nothing to do with that. I got you. You hear me? No, I got you. I I, I think that is kind of crazy how Oakland is like that, but that does kind of make sense with the history of Oakland. And, yeah. You hear me? But now this is the thing: if a woman was to open a strip club or try to open a strip club in Oakland, it'd be A-OK. -okay. For real. That's crazy. That don't make no... If they gonna shut it down, they might as well just not let nobody do it. But to, that's crazy. Okay, that's how it is. Somebody man. should uh, get up on that. That's how it is. <laughs> I mean, we, we, got, we got a couple people that's trying, but it, it's the same shit. You know what I mean? They, they be like, no. Because of how it's structured. Yeah. How they think it's structured. it's structured. Let me say that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that's why I say and that's why I do house fees up front. I mean, I don't, I don't allow no dancer to pay me at the end of the night because of that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Technically type shit. Like yeah. You know I mean? Not for sure. You don't want that to uh, yeah. come back. Exactly. Have, have you per se received any backlash or any... When I started, yes. When I started, I, I received a lot of backlash because of d doing strippers or being or being a strip club per se. The just the just the stereotypes that come with it. You so it's like, oh, you over there, you fucking all the strippers, uh, you pimping on them, uh, like, bruh. Like I, all these girls do is come dance. Certain nights don't no, don't nobody get naked like n nobody, you feel me? So it's like it's really go go dancing if you think about it. You feel me? Yeah. Out here and and at the after hours just to protect us from any legal issues, don't nobody get naked. For real, don't nobody get naked. So you can't be like, oh, you you got nudity, you got this going on. You got a bitch in the back busting the date. Nah, we ain't got none of that, bro. This is go go dancing. Yeah. These girls are dancing in bikinis. They're covered up. Just to just so we can cover our our legal issues. Yeah. So if the police come in here and see like like bro, this a girl that's just dancing on the pole. Yeah. In a bikini. What's that's going it. on? Yeah, like it's not <laughs> that's perfectly legal. This girl's twenty one. In a bikini and dancing, covered up. What's yeah. the issue? Has that ever happened? Plenty of times. That's why I said earlier when I first started, it was people calling the police. I'm about to say, people, people call them. Man, people calling the police. But, people but why are they call it? Because they, they're hated on it? Or haters. They, okay. <laughs> haters. And I had plenty of them. And it's it can be, it, it can be, it was other promoters. And then it was customers too, and it was customers because they was mad that it wasn't able to get in. It was mad because that a night probably didn't go the way they thought it was gonna go for them. And then the promoter side, niggas just 
niggas just haters. Niggas just mad they can't bust this play like I'm doing it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I took it for how it is. Like, before I used to get mad and shit, but now I just be like, man, you niggas gonna just be haters regardless. regardless yeah. So I'm not, I'm not even mad at you no more. Call the police. The police actually know me now. Yeah. You know they've been called so many been times. They've been calling so many times. They know, they really know me now. They Like, every time I, I go downtown Oakland and shit, all the police that 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 police the night scene in Oakland, they yeah. all know me, bro. Boog, boog, Like, yeah, y'all call so many times. I mean, they, they gotta, know. gotta know who you are. <laughs> I don't hide my face. I don't, I don't hide what I do. I don't hide how I do it. So it's like, you know hear me? Shit. Thank you, haters. What do you feel about, like, other promoters in the bay like is, is the promotion is the promotion game good like how how would you describe it man the promotion game is good if you respect this shit um there are promoters that are actually good promoters but right now the DJs is becoming the promoters and that's that's just what it is. You know what I mean, the promoters, niggas that think they promoters, they don't do it right. They be janky promoters. Niggas be lying about certain shit. You feel me? That 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 they they just want to. Um, they just more worried about bringing out the money. They don't worry about the quality of the event, the safety of the event, the 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 energy, the vibes type shit. They just like nigga. I'm just trying to get some money, bro. I want. Everybody come out, pay me to come party. Yeah. They don't go for money. They're for the money, not necessarily in it to... They in it for the money. Yeah. See, I, like, with me, the uh, I, I watched Anthony Presents uh, interview, and the best hit, the best thing he said, he was like, when you worry about the money, everything goes wrong. But if you worry about the quality of the event, People gonna start to see it, and then they gonna want to be a part of it. So when he said that, it made sense. Like nigga, don't worry about the money, bro. Worry about the quality of the event and who you bringing out and what type of crowd you bringing out. Once you do that, everybody gonna start fucking with you just because they want to be a part of that. Especially if it's positive, if it's if it's lit. You feel me? Ain't no issues. It's good. You feel me? Get the popping. Like. Right. Before we, I want to touch on it more, but I do want to ask you, what advice would you give to someone who does want to become a promoter and they, they do want to go about it the right route? Learn the politics. Especially if you're about to become a Bay Area promoter, whatever city you about to be promoting in, learn their politics. We're talking street politics. Yeah, if you're doing hip-hop shows, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Learn the politics. Like me, I'm a Frisco nigga in Oakland. Yeah. Been in Oakland for six years throwing parties. You feel me? A Frisco nigga. Yeah. So, I had to learn the politics of the town and learn who is who. You feel me? Yeah. Like I said, other promoters, they don't give a fuck about who come. They, they like, nigga, I just want some money. Y'all. Everybody come. I want everybody there. No, not me. Nigga, I want this particular side here on this particular day. Down the line, I want y'all here now. I want the other side here. You feel me? On some respectful shit. So I'm talking to the big dogs. I'm talking to the to the to the look to the lieutenants. You feel me? Like, bro, nigga, I had to really learn this shit for real from the top to the bottom, from the east to the west type shit. I'm about to say Oakland definitely has a lot of politics, and I definitely think. Uh, I mean, yeah, I think that's would be very important because you want to make sure your event sure. runs smoothly. You don't want For to sure. deal with Listen, some my, street shit. <laughs> my very first big event was at New Caribbean City, the Got infamous you. New Caribbean Got City. Yep, I'm familiar with that. Now, at this particular event, I had all the shooters there, but I tapped in with everybody before they even got there, before they even came. On, on some respectful shit like bro like Femi I want nothing to happen with want whatever I can make however I need to make it happen let's do it but I don't need nothing to go down bro the night came 
hella niggas came out. I don't know what made them come out, but hella niggas came out. And by me tapping in, it was like, all right, you, and nigga, on some respectful shit, like, book, like, we fuck with you because you tapped in with us. So, nigga, we here to support you. Everybody in there, and I'm like, damn, like, nigga, these niggas looking at these niggas, these looking at these niggas, everybody watching everybody because everybody know everybody in the house, everybody get down. But by the grace of God, did nothing happen. And that let me know how much respect that I got in the town. You feel me? Because it was, it was niggas in there with they big older homies yeah. and they older homies like, nigga, you feel me? Keep it cool. Keep it cool. You feel me? And Not after that happened, way. after that happened, I knew it. I knew I had, you feel me? I had that motion like that. Yeah. You feel me? And then my, by me just dealing with certain individuals, you feel me? It, it's all love. They, nah. they see what I'm doing and what I'm trying to do yeah. for the culture and, and, and the bay. You feel me? So that everybody respect that. And you feel me? I'll show love. How important is, should it be, you know, as far as things like customer service, event safety, Man, that's the security? Like, how, how important is that? Like, I ran through, I ran through about five different security teams out here just because is the, the custom hospitality, I say the Bay Area, the one thing the Bay Area need to work on all around is hospitality. You go anywhere else, you go to Miami, uh, Vegas, fucking Houston, you feel me? Nigga, they, got, they show love, they show hospitality, they're like, hey, how y'all doing? Woo, 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 ah, ah, ah. You feel me? They cool. Out here, it be, nigga, it be, it be niggas that just be talking crazy, like, like bruh. What is, what you on right now, nigga? Yeah. Did you mad or something? Like, yeah. You feel me? Like, nigga, you have a bad day. You need to go home or something, bro. Like, nigga, that's not what we on. But the security team that I work with now, I, I be I be having briefings with them before we even open the door. Like, bro, y'all know what we doing. Uh, if we doing the after hours, y'all know niggas coming drunk. So don't take nothing personal. Everybody, they coming drunk. Yeah. So nigga can't be mad if a nigga, nigga if a it's nigga after, it's after hours. Say, some, yeah, yeah. say something crazy, just know they under the influence, let it slide, we won't. won't. You feel me? As long as don't nobody put their hands on you, you good. let it, it feel me? Let's be let's be cool. Let's be you feel me? Let's be cool. Overall, how would you grade the Bay Area nightlife if you had to give a grade? That shit suck. Why why does it suck? Like over why? Uh, hospitality number one, and then it, and then the clubs in the bay, it's only, it's only like four clubs that cater to hip hop, and not and I'm not just saying black people, I'm just saying hip hop in yeah. general. Yeah, you feel me? And then the other clubs that do be having hip hop, they hip hop nights be like Tuesdays, Thursdays. Oh shit, a random ass. Yeah, like, that like on a weekday where you know niggas gotta go. Niggas do got jobs now. Niggas yeah. not just standing on corners no more. Yeah. You feel me? Niggas go to work and Uber and all type of shit. So it's like, come on, bro. Like, nigga, what's up with Friday and Saturdays? That's why First Friday in Oakland be so lit. You feel me? nothing really else. Yeah. It's, we we partying outside. It's for free. We won't clubs. It, the clubs open. You got doing $10 before 11 type shit. You feel me? And it be smooth. But, um... Like I said, this is about folk clubs that cater to hip hop, and they be cool. They be depending on who the promoter is of the night. You feel me? It, it be cool, but overall, I say it sucks and it needs a lot of work. What would, what would be the grade you would give it if you had to give it a A through F grade? I give it like a C minus. Okay, and is it in your plans in the future to ever be like a club owner or no? I mean, if, if so, it won't be in California. Why? Is it, uh, just just because it's just because it's too much. Uh, uh, the taxes on it, the 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 permits you gotta got you gotta go get, and and just the whole the whole legal aspect of it, if it it's too much. It ain't it's it's high as shit. Uh, the facilities either be old as fuck, or it, the maintenance of it will cost too much. But outside of California, hell yeah. 
where where do you where would you if you could have a club in, in any anywhere where would you have it? If I could have a club anywhere, where would I have it? I would say. I would say, for me, Milwaukee. Why Milwaukee? They party different. For real. Milwaukee be tired. For real. For real. I would have never. Milwaukee. I thought you would have said like Texas or Miami, nigga. I like, mean, I mean, shit. With Texas and Miami, they 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 party too. They go up, but it's. It's so many clubs there already. I got you. You feel me? Let me go somewhere where they as they build it up. Exactly. Yeah. Then you you, it's like you that one. That's why I said Milwaukee. Milwaukee, they lit. They feel me? They got their own like how we got our music in the Bay. Yeah. They got their own type of music, and they they really be part on some party shit. Yeah. You feel me? Nah, I I get you on that uh, for sure. Um, what what has it been like for you branching out into like other? States, so say or other areas like in LA or Man. Vegas or Arizona, <laughs> like what's that been like for you? Um, I've been to Vegas. I've been to Vegas a few times, but when I went to Vegas, I, I, it wasn't, it wasn't, it didn't turn out right. You feel me? The niggas damn near got extorted by the police and hell of shit. And I'm like, Nigga, what? I, I ain't been back to Vegas since. Uh, Why? Since like Cause they was. Ago. Cause what what was the pro what was the problem? They were trying to take you to jail or some shit. Or? Nah, nigga, in so many words, they nigga they tried to get it up out of me. You feel me? And I'm like, nigga, I'm cool, man. I ain't, I ain't never coming back out here on no That's party crazy. shit. Like, I I would come to to vacate, but to actually throw an event, nigga, it was I'm tripping cool. like that. Heavy. Uh, once again, some hater shit. You feel me? Uh, me and my boy David B, we got this thing called Stripper Loud. Okay. No, for me. Like, me. exactly. Yeah. yeah. Rolling out, but with strippers. Yeah. You feel me? And it all started because Rolling Loud came to the bay one time, yeah. and we had like sixty dancers asking to come dance because they all thought that we had an artist coming. Yeah. We didn't have any artists from Rolling Loud coming, but we had our local artists pull up. For me, come come throw a few dollars and perform and shit. Yeah. So boom, we tried to do it in Vegas. We had over seventy five dancers come to Vegas. Uh, even seventy five dancers come to Vegas. It was a three day weekend, and we lined up three different venues. The police, I don't know how they found out, whatever. But when the police, I got pulled over. I got pulled over. <laughs> this is a, you're not even at the venue right now. I'm not even at the venue right now. <laughs> we just came from. Uh, 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 a boxing event that my boy Rico put on. Yeah. Boom. We got pulled over. It's me, my boy Santana, my boy J Rock, Double R, and some somebody else. Boom. We we leave. We get pulled over. Boom. We get pulled over by a uniform cop. He pull us over. Next thing we know, it's four other cars pulled behind him. Yeah, I'm, I'm from the city, so we call them narcs. But yeah. if you feel me? These, <laughs> these some other ass type of type of officers. I don't know what they call them in Vegas, but boom, we pull over. She uh, regular shit. Uh, we driver license. Yeah. Uh, search the car. Uh, nigga, you on probation? Everybody got to get searched. Type shit. Boom. While they searching this, the uh, the the the. The undercovers, they they pull everybody to the side one by one or whatever, and when she when they pulled me to the side, it was a lady cop, and she just said like, man, you know, out here in Vegas, people pay taxes, to do with the type of shit that y'all trying to do. I said, huh? She's like, what you talking about? Yeah, yeah, I know who you are. I know y'all from Oakland. I'm like, ma'am, I am from San Francisco. Like, what you talking about? She, she's like, nah, we know you from the Bay Area. We know what you came out here to do. And what you're doing, people pay taxes on that. So how you think they would feel if we just allow you to have your parties? I'm what? Like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, so I'm baby, like, what you talking about? Like, I already done got the video. Like, why? But she kept saying that over and over again, and I'm and I'm I'm like 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 bitch, like what you saying? What you telling me for? Yeah. Boom. 
So all that shit happened. Boom, boom, boom. They let us go. And she like, if if we find out that you still doing a party, we coming to ta- uh, we coming to take you to jail and we shutting your party down. I'm like, bro, like jail for what? Li- exactly. <laughs> Am I? So I'm like, I know I can't go to jail for throwing a party. I know that. So you said that just to say what? So boom, we go we go to the event that we were supposed to have the party at. But we changed it to a whole different event, to a whole different location. So now, for me not to be seen, I let my partners run the event. But I'm still pushing everybody over there. You feel yeah. me? Like everybody go to here. Boom, boom. It all worked out for us uh, at the end of the day. But that just let me know how 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 big of a promoter a nigga can be. Like y'all tripping over me for. Throwing a party, but you trying to extort me out of a few dollars though. That's honestly fucking ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, nigga, I'm cool. Like, nigga, I'm never going but, back to Vegas. Go, but, but I ain't gonna lie though. Um, I, I was um uh, like, my, I think my, like the next step for me is to start the throwing concerts. But that's what I want to do. What I, see, that's what I that's what I'm into now. I, I mean, that's what I would like to get into. Yeah, because that's more lucrative and it's like. And, and like I, I took classes on marketing and promoting for me Atlanta and shit. So I'm like, that's something I'm really into, cause it's the club shit is cool, the party shit is cool, but concerts and festivals is where the big money at, and you, the the marketing behind it is 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 just branding. That's all it is. It's long time longevity. If, you, if your brand is, you feel me? Yeah. The shit people will come out, and concerts is. Is one of them. No, for sure. Yeah. People have told me in the past about them trying to throw events in certain cities, and if they they have like I guess rent, I because I feel like the thing is niggas will be hating if you come to this city sure. and make bread. But it's like for sure. If you built if you built your platform, it's like shit. Why why would I just leave it in the bay? Why would I not take it on the road? Absolutely. That's why. That's why I I I, I joined a network of promoters. Like I do. With the stripper shit, if you really doing your business and handling your business right, nigga, all the promoters that actually do the stripper shit too, they yeah. all gonna be hitting you up like, oh, we gotta collab, we gotta do this, we yeah. want. So I'm already tapped in with the V Lives, I'm already tapped in with the penthouses, the Onyxes, the Kings of Diamonds, and all that shit. You feel me? Yeah. Even the strip club DJs be hitting me up, man. Shout out Big Snook. Yeah. You feel me? He one of the main big. Strip club DJs in in fuck in the fucking world right now. I think yeah, no, nah, I I think I think that's super tight. I think it's uh it's dope for you that like uh you the first promoter I ever you feel me? Yeah, for sure. I appreciate it. Um, appreciate it. Nah, how did you get into DJing though? Like, is Man, that just what's... listening? <laughs> just listening to uh, all the DJ all the DJs when I was just as a party goer. I was just listening to how the DJs do they set, and uh, it was just repetitive. Like, nigga, if I know your next song that you about to play already, that means you need to shake some shit up. Yeah. That means I'm about to come out and party to the same playlist every fucking weekend. I hated it. Yeah. And then I noticed that the DJs wasn't really fucking with the artists, like the local artists is out here. So I'm like, nigga, like, hold on, like, bro, y'all got us fucked up. Like, it's talented people out here. It, it's it's underground local artists and they, and they that need, they, go they need the DJs. crazy. Yeah. You feel me? And y'all not playing that shit in here? So I'm like, fuck it, let me start DJing. Uh, shout out to DJJ12. He, uh, he gave me a few tips and shit. And I'm like, all right, cool, let me start fucking with it. And once I got it down... It was over. How long did you would you say it took you to learn how to DJ? Um, about about six months. Okay. About six months. But shit, I I was already in the music itself. So if you if you know how to record or you know how to rap, you damn near know how to DJ too. It's yeah. damn near like the same thing. Yeah. Did you ever make music or anything or ever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I was with I was in TPE with uh, Parsons the Rock. Oh, for real? Yeah. So we was already party niggas already. So we threw our own parties, we threw our own concerts and shit yeah. like that. So that that helped me 
into promoting. Yeah. You know I me? Mean? So I like, got you. I got you. We already we already popping. You feel yeah. me? I already got a, a following. I already got people that like to party. So yeah. it's like, nigga, why not throw my own parties? Outside of like uh, your day to day, like nightlife and shit, like what do you like to do? Go to the movies. You feel me? I go to the movies. I like to uh, I uh, I like to go boxing. You feel me? I be boxing and shit. Oh, for real? Yeah, me and my son, I we go to the uh, boxing gym yeah. shit, three times a week. For real? Just yeah, yeah, for sure. I like that. You feel me? I'm trying to I'm trying to have the next Devin Haney on yeah, my head. Uh-huh. You feel me? My head. <laughs> I like you that. Know? I like that. But uh, outside of that, yeah, just uh, movies, boxing, uh, shit, chill on my on my days off. You feel me? Yeah. How's fatherhood been for you? Uh, fatherhood been good for me. Uh, uh, shit, I'm the I'm the only parent. For me, my my baby mama died when my son oh, was two from uh from lupus. Oh shit, I know. So, I'm me, familiar with that. Yeah, I'm look, sorry. That's, that. that, that's some serious shit. Yeah. Um, but shit, fatherhood for me and shit, I'm I'm really all my son got for real. For yeah. Me. So it's like I it ain't I have to be the best that I can be for him. You feel me? So it's good to me. I love it. How like tell me about the the strength the the just the whole, to to get through that whole situation like uh, it took me a while bro it took me a while um see my baby mama she was a, a supporter she was a supportive woman of whatever I wanted to do so she like man if you are gonna do it do this shit right you feel me don't be half an ass so um I, all I do right now is do it for him you feel me. All this party shit, make sure everybody's safe with me. Because, nigga, I got to go home to my son, too. So, me making sure everybody else safe is keeping me safe so I can make it home to my son. So, if I'm going to make it home, I know everybody else want to make it home to yeah. their son, to yeah. their kids, no, too. Straight up. You feel me? So, at the end of the day, when you go out, everybody wants to make it back home. For sure. No. For sure. I don't care what they say. And everybody. That, that, that's, that would be my mentality. Like, bro, I want to make sure everybody get back home to their families. And everybody get home to their kids, especially these women, cause nigga, my son is growing up without a without a mother figure. You feel me? We, he got his aunties and shit. You feel me? Which is cool. We raised him as a village, but at the same time, nigga, that mother figure is vital to a child. Yeah. So yes, that's all I be thinking. Like nigga, I'm I'm protecting these women to make sure they get back home. Nah, straight up, nah, I, I, I rock with that. Yeah. Um, I rock with your movement. Um, is there anything you want to say or address before we uh, get out of here? Um. Anybody, all the janky promoters, man. Shout out to all the janky promoters, man. Because you niggas make me look good. <laughs> Uh, uh, you niggas make me look good, bro. That's kind of sparked my mind. You can speak on it if you want to, but uh, I did want to ask you. Uh, it was a, a couple of weeks ago, like a big situation with the gorilla situation. What's your opinion on that? <laughs> Russell Red and Jelly Roll and then Tammy, man. Yeah. Janky, uh, I won't. I wouldn't necessarily say Janky promoters, but it it just it just turned into a shit show. You feel me? I wasn't there. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm making. I was there. I'm seeing everything that everybody else sees. Yeah. But at the same time, as a promoter, you gotta. When it's a big show like that, your professionalism must be at an all time high. Nigga, this is one of the biggest artists in the world at this moment. Yeah. So. How it turned out. Everybody in the world is seeing this. So it's other artists that's watching this. The way Oakland treated Gorilla made other artists not even want to come to Oakland no more. Because we, me and David B, we had Lola Brooke the next day. So from them seeing the way Lola, uh, uh, Gorilla was treated, they called us like, hey, bro, we got to cancel that party. Like, uh, we ain't fucking with that. Just because, like, we all seen how y'all get down out here, and we don't cool. feel safe. Yeah. Like, I'm, we cool. Show canceled. Boop. I'm like, damn. Ain't nothing we can do. Yeah, I'm playing that. But that, that, that all falls on them, on that promoter. For however they business went, 
And it, however it went, you feel me? It, it wasn't handled right. That whole situation could have been avoided if they communicated with who they needed to communicate yeah. with. You feel me? So. I, I do want to ask you this. Um, as far as booking artists, like, should you, you believe that, like, Contractually, everything needs to be stated up front, figured out. Hell yeah. Done right to a Man, team. listen. I state everything in my contracts. Everything. This what I want. This the time I want. This how it should go. If you can't abide by this, like, I don't want to work with you, bro. But it be certain. It do be certain artists that send their own contracts. But it's back on the promoters to read all the way through that shit and... Feel me? Learn every detail of it. If you don't read this shit and you just sign it, nigga, that's the yo was dumbass fault. Yeah. But when it comes to artists, absolutely. Contracts must be in place and you must state whatever you want in that contract. No, I got you. I agree with you for sure. Um, how did you come up with your logo? I see you rocking it right now. Like, what was the oh, process yeah. of putting that together? Uh, shit, the, the Bitcoin logo, feel me, feel me, uh, my name started with a big book, you feel me, so it's like, feel me, book peso, yeah. yeah, feel me, I'm coming for it, I want, I want it all, yeah. you feel me, so, you know, just the Bitcoin logo with the peso in it, feel me, it ain't trademarking nothing like yeah. that, so I, I know the legal aspect of it, but I, I'm, I'm getting ready to change it, uh, probably next year or something like that, but, why just, is that, just switch just it for, up. for the legal shit, yeah. trademark, yeah. branding and all that, you know. Nah, I, I, I rock with it though because branding is everything. You yeah, for sure. Me? Yeah, you definitely sure. want uh, that, That's what saved my ass. I ain't gonna lie. Because at first, when like building up to this point now, it was all like, like I said in the beginning, it was like haters, people calling the police on me, blah, 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 blah. But that all led up to the point now where it's like, nigga, you can't, even if you call the police on me, they gonna just call me. Like, like look, we got another call. Yeah. What's going on? What's going on? I'm gonna tell them like shit. You can come pull up on me, come see. <laughs> come see. <laughs> or, you feel me? Yeah. I you, you know how I get down. I'm straight. Yeah. I, I'm not doing no funny business. Everything good. I'm not involving too many people. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. It's me. Now I, I rock with it for sure. Yeah. I, I wish you much success moving forward. Um, keep doing your thing. Keep appreciate it. You keep, keep uh, putting your foot in it. You may making it happen for sure. For um, sure. Is there anything else you want to say or just why you here? Nah, nah, we good. We, okay. We, I just feel like we covered a lot, so we good. Once again, we got Book Pesos in the building. Y'all make sure to tap in with him. Follow him on Instagram. Uh, lock in with his events. He's doing For events sure. Every, sure. Every, 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 pretty much every week. Or every like, week. Every, every week he got Saturday. something going. Y'all make sure to follow him, tap in, and, and uh, stay locked in with him. I appreciate you pulling up. Definitely dope interview on the way. You locked in with the innovators. You already know we got the best interviews right here. Right on. Appreciate it.